Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today we're doing budget friendly and easy recipes once again. I have three different recipes to show you guys. One is a breakfast idea. The rest can be eaten for lunch or dinner. These are all delicious. They're super simple and of course healthy as well. Before we get started, today's video is supported by Audible. If you guys don't know, Audible is the number one place to go to for audiobooks. If you want to be the type of person that reads books but doesn't have time to read books or constantly makes excuses for why you can't read books, then maybe audiobooks are the way forward. I definitely listen to audiobooks probably a lot more than I read, which might be bad, but at least I am still reading in some way or another. Right now, the book that I'm listening to is really, really interesting. It's called Love Factually. It's a nonfiction book. Basically, it's a woman that goes around talking to a lot of different people about love and relationships and also looking at different studies that have to do with human behavior when it comes to love. And I love any books that talk about human behavior and human psychology. I find those things really fascinating and very interesting. So if you want to listen to this book or any other book of your choice, you can actually get a free audiobook right now with a link down below if you are a first time Audible user and you can try out the service for free for a month. And then if you end up not wanting to continue with Audible, that's okay. You can actually cancel your trial and you can still keep that book even though you've canceled your trial. So it's a win-win situation. Yes. So yes, once again, link is down below if you guys want to get yourself a completely free book. Now, if you guys want to see some budget friendly and delicious vegan recipes, then keep on watching. First recipe is going to be a vegan French toast. It's super delicious and very, very easy to make. So first thing we're gonna do is add some tofu into a blender. I'm using medium firm tofu, but you can feel free to use firm or extra firm. I'm sure those would do the trick. Maybe you might need a little bit more liquid. So I'm using water for my liquid and half a ripe banana. I'm also going to use some cinnamon, vanilla extract, and a small amount of salt. And remember, all of the ingredients will be listed in the blog post down below. And then you just want to blend it out until it is nice and smooth. And that is going to be our French toast batter. And you can make vegan French toast without the tofu and just use banana. But I do find that when you just use banana, it does kind of stick to the pan a little bit more and it's slightly harder to work with. This concoction was super, super easy to work with, which is why I enjoyed it. So now we are going to add a little bit of vegan butter or oil onto a nonstick pan. I'm gonna let that really, really heat up. And then of course we can dip our bread into that mixture and the mixture that we made makes about two servings and then once we have that nicely coated we can add it to the frying pan and i like to cook it for about three minutes on each side on like medium heat maybe even medium low heat and that helps make it really nice and golden and crispy on the outside and then we want to flip it and then another three minutes or so or until it is really nicely golden and of course guys you can top it with whatever you'd like i'm just adding some berries i have raspberries and blackberries and then of course some maple syrup and this is super delicious so so good and so so simple so i hope you guys try this out Next recipe is going to be a gnocchi with a homemade pasta sauce, a homemade tomato style sauce. So here we go. We're gonna use a little bit of oil onto a frying pan, heat that up, and then we are going to add some minced garlic. And I've been really, really obsessed with using fresh tomatoes lately for cooking. So I'm just going to add in some fresh ripe tomatoes. So I'm just going to let that cook a little bit, let some of the juices seep out. I'm gonna cover it up for a second. And then I'm going to throw in a can of no salt added tomato sauce. This is just a store-bought tomato sauce. Now you can probably make this with just tomatoes, but I would probably use a lot more fresh tomatoes. And I just, I don't know. It is kind of cheaper this way, guys. So <laughs> that's why I used some fresh tomatoes and some um, canned tomato, okay? A no shame. And then I'm going to throw in some broccoli as well and some chickpeas for the protein. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to mix that up and I like to really let those fresh tomatoes cook for a while so that it becomes really, really nice and soft and just part of the sauce. 
we're gonna keep the seasonings really really simple I'm adding in some dry basil and I also added in some salt and coconut sugar or you can also use brown sugar and you know what I just had some fresh parsley hanging around so I just threw in some of that you can also use fresh basil that would be so delicious but yeah we're just gonna mix that up and again let the sauce cook for a while to make it really really nice and tasty And while that sauce is cooking, I'm going to prepare the gnocchi. Now, if you did not know, gnocchi is basically like a pasta made of potatoes. They're kind of like little potato pasta dumplings. I don't know how to describe them. They're super, super good and super doughy. So if you like doughy things, you're gonna love gnocchi. And they take like two minutes to cook the store-bought gnocchi. So yeah, I just cooked that up. I'm gonna throw that into the pasta sauce. Of course, you can use whatever pasta you want to. Uh, but if you haven't tried gnocchi, I would really really recommend trying it it's so so good and this part is totally optional but I'm throwing in some nutritional yeast just to give this pasta a slightly cheesy flavor And there you have it guys there is your gnocchi pasta it's so good i really do hope you guys try out this sauce as well as uh, gnocchi if you haven't tried gnocchi i would recommend going and buying some like immediately it is in your pasta section probably um yeah just make sure you check that ingredients list to make sure that there's no animal products in there sometimes they sneak in a little cheese or egg um but yeah this one was vegan you can also make your own gnocchi which i'm sure would be even tastier i've actually made a two ingredient sweet potato gnocchi myself it's super simple and so good oh my god i need to make that again anyways i'll link that video down below so you can make your own gnocchi if you don't want to buy a uh, store-bought gnocchi and that's even cheaper Oh my gosh, okay, go try it. Link is down below. <laughs> Last but not least, we are going to make a very delicious, savory, Korean-inspired lentil dish. It is super, super good, and it tastes great with rice or any other grain, so let's make some. Okay, so first we are going to dice some onion. Let's also prepare some minced garlic as well. And we're also going to mince some fresh ginger as well. And I really feel like this gives a really, really nice flavor to the lentils and just makes it oh, taste so delicious. So you can leave it out if you want to, but I highly recommend adding in a little bit of ginger at least. All right, let's move on over to the pan. We added a little bit of oil onto a frying pan and we're gonna add the onions first and cook them up just a little bit, maybe for a couple of minutes. Then we can add in the garlic and ginger and cook that up for a couple of minutes as well. If it starts getting really dry, I just like to add a little splash of water. And now it's time to throw in our lentils. I'm actually using dry green lentils, or maybe these are brown lentils. I think they're green lentils, okay. Um, basically, you want to add in three cups of water for every one cup of dry lentils. And we're talking about green or brown lentils. So right now I'm adding in a bit of soy sauce for the flavor. We're also going to add in a bit of brown or coconut sugar. And we're gonna mix that up and allow this to come to a boil. Once it comes to a very strong boil, you are going to turn the heat down to a simmer and cover this up and cook it for about 20 minutes or until the lentils are completely cooked and most of the liquid is gone. Now this part is optional, but about five minutes before the lentils are finished, I actually threw in some broccoli so that it can cook with the lentils for the last five minutes. As you can see, there's still a bit of liquid there. So I'm just going to throw that broccoli in and then cover that up again and allow it to cook. At the very end, I actually added in some toasted sesame oil, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit extra savory flavor and deliciousness and just mix everything really well. And that's pretty much it. And of course, guys, you can use uh, cooked lentils already. You can use a can of green or brown lentils if you wanted and it will take you less time. You could also use red split lentils. It'll take you less time and much less water. 
but I wanted to cook some green lentils from dry just to show you guys how to cook the green lentils and I also feel like I don't know the flavors would be more nicely infused into the lentils if you cook them with the uh, soy sauce and all that stuff anyways you can serve this with rice that was my original intention but I actually ran out of rice during this time Ugh, I know what a tragedy so I'm actually serving it with some quinoa which was actually really good as well and then I topped with some chopped green onion and there you have a really healthy and delicious and and Korean style uh, lentils recipe you can put this in the fridge and keep it in the fridge for a few days and eat it throughout it's really really great for meal prepping so highly recommend all right you guys that is it for my three budget friendly and easy vegan recipes what did you guys think did you enjoy let me know down below and of course if you did enjoy this video please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe and guys do not forget to get yourself that free audiobook through audible again link is down below and of course thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye